morning to your children. So, last class, we learned to determine empirical formula. We learned to determine empirical formula. Today we'll be learning how to determine molecular formula using uh, empirical formula, empirical formula weight and vapor density. You know what is molecular formula? Molecular formula is the sim symbolic representation of a molecule of a compound. It's molecular formula. Symbolic representation of a molecule of a compound is called its molecular formula. So how to determine molecular formula? There are steps. Number one, calculate the empirical weight. First of all, you need to calculate empirical weight. So, empirical weight, how will you find? First of all, you must be knowing empirical formula. Then, mass of the atoms present in, in the molecule, okay, in the empirical formula is its empirical formula, mass or empirical formula, weight. So first of all, you have to find empirical weight of the compound from its empirical formula. Number two, divide its molecular weight. So if its molecular weight is given, then you have to divide molecular weight by empirical formula weight, which gives the number m, which gives the number m. And then multiply the empirical formula by m. Multiply the empirical formula by m to get molecular formula. That is molecular formula is equal to empirical formula into m. Molecular formula is equal to empirical formula into m where n is equal to molecular weight by empirical formula weight. So this is the steps to find molecular formula. Now we will be doing some example to understand this concept very clearly. Example number seven. So what is the question? Calculate the empirical formula of a compound. Calculate the empirical formula of a compound whose molecular formula is whose molecular formula is C8H6O4 and empirical formula weight that we have learned last class that is empirical formula is the simplest whole number ratio of the atoms of element present in a molecule also we can get empirical formula because here the ratio is 8 is to 6 is to 4 which is not the simplest so all these can be divided by 2 so what you will get 4 is to 3 that means C4H3O2 will be empirical formula. So this is the shortcut. This is shortcut. Without using this empirical formula weight also, we can find empirical formula. Okay? If you do this, then also it will not be wrong. But since empirical formula weight is given, so we need to use that figure also. Then how to do? 
Yes. So first of all, we'll be finding molecular weight. First of all, we'll be finding molecular weight. Molecular weight of the compound. Molecular weight of the compound is equal to what is the molecular formula? C8 at 6 O4. So what is molecular? How to find molecular weight? Number of atoms of each element, okay, into atomic weight. Sum of all, sum of all the sum of the atomic weight of all the atoms present in a molecule becomes your molecular weight. So how many atoms of carbon are here? Eight. So eight into what is the atomic weight of carbon? Twelve. Plus six into what is the atomic weight of hydrogen? One. Plus. 4 atoms of oxygen into what is the atomic weight of oxygen? 16. Then, 8 12s are 96 plus 6 plus 64. So, it becomes how much? 166. This is your molecular weight. So, we know molecular weight and we, uh, we are given with empirical formula weight. Now, now we'll be finding M. M. We'll be finding M. Now, M is equal to molecular weight divided by empirical formula weight. So, what is molecular weight? 166, 166 by empirical formula weight 83. That is 2. So how much we got? 2. We got 2. Now empirical, what do we have to find? Empirical formula. Empirical formula. Okay, empirical formula into N is equal to molecular formula. Empirical formula is equal to empirical formula into N is equal to molecular formula. Then empirical formula is equal to so what do you do now empirical formula into n is equal to molecular formula here empirical formula into 2 is equal to molecular formula so this is to be divided by 2 that means all the all the number of atoms is to be divided by n that is 2 so it becomes c 4 h 3 so molecular formula here is CaH6O4 which is to be divided by M that is 2. So we will be getting C4S3O2. So this is the way how we find molecular formula. Now another also will be doing this. This is when Molecular formula of a compound is given and empirical weight is given. Then we find empirical formula by this method. Then example number 8. Example number 8. A compound is found to possess a compound. Fifty-three 
3.3%. Its molecular, its molecular weight is 60. Find the molecular formula. So here, again it will be a revision for you because uh, last class only using percentage composition we determine empirical formula. So today also we will be doing the same. So whenever percentage composition is given, first of all you will be finding empirical formula. And then molecular mass is given to you. Then finding N, finding N we can get molecular formula. Finding N, we can get molecular formula. So first testing for us is what do we have to do? First we make the table. Make the table with the how many columns? Five columns. With five columns. One, two, 3, 4 and 5 4 5 Now, whenever percentage is given What I have said you? I have said you to add the percentage first Whether it is 100% or not If not then something must be missing so 40% then 40% then 6.7% then 53.3% add all 0 6, 3, 9, 1, 10, 4, 5, 9, 1, 10. So it's okay. So everything is given, nothing is missing. Okay. So here you will be writing element only since there is no molecule. Only elements are present. And here you will be writing percentage composition. Percentage, percentage composition. And here you will be writing atomic weight. Here number of atoms or atomic ratio of atoms. Ratio of atoms. And here, simplest ratio. Now we write the symbols of elements present here. That is C, H, and O. So what is percentage of carbon? 40. Percentage of hydrogen? 6.7. And percentage of oxygen? 53.3. Then atomic weight of carbon is 12, atomic weight of hydrogen is 1, and atomic weight of oxygen is 16. Then ratio of atom, how do you find? Percentage weight divided by atomic weight. Percentage weight divided by atomic weight. So 40 by 12 will give you 3.3 will give you 3.3. And 6.7 divided by 1 gives you 6.7. Then 53.3 by 16 gives you 16. 3 is 48. And here also you will be getting 3.3. Okay. Among these three decimal numbers, which is the smallest one? 3.3. So divide all these by 3.3. So 3.3 divided by 3.3 gives you 1, 6.7 divided by 3.3 gives you roughly 2, 
and 3.3 divided by 3.3 is 1. So the simplest ratio is 1, 2 and 1. 1, 2 and 1. Now, therefore, empirical formula of the compound is equal to C C H O. Write all write the symbols of all the elements present in the molecule. Then the simplest ratio on the lower right as subscript. So C has come one. So C one H two O one. Then ignore one and write C H two O. This has become empirical formula. This has become empirical formula. Now let the molecular formula of the compound be N C H two O because Molecular formula is equal to N into empirical formula. Molecular formula is equal to N into empirical formula. So let the molecular formula of the compound be N C as to O. Now, you have to find that molecular mass. Therefore, molecular mass is equal to Molecular mass is equal to N, then C H2, C, C is 12 plus H2, 2 into 1 plus 16 is equal to N, then 12 plus 2, 14 plus 16, 30. 30. But we know molecular mass, molecular mass is 60. So 60 is equal to n into 30. 60 is equal to n into 30. Then, so what is the molecular mass given in the question? 60. Now 60 is equal to n into 30. Then n, therefore n is equal to 60 by 30 that is 2. So we got n. n is 60 divided by 30 that is 2. Therefore, molecular formula of the compound is now multiply multiply all the subscript by n that is 2. So it becomes C2 at 4O2. This is the way how we find molecular formula of the compound. So, first of all, you need to find empirical formula for this question whenever percentage composition is given. Then, you have to find rough molecular formula using the number N and then using this rough molecular formula and the molecular mass given you have to find the value of n or this can be done by finding empirical formula mass also if you find empirical formula mass that comes to be 30 only and then you can find n n is equal to molecular mass divided by empirical formula mass that comes to be 2 then molecular formula is equal to n into empirical formula that means you have to multiply all the subscript by the value of n and here the value of n is 2 so it becomes c2 h4o2 now calculate the empirical formula and molecular formula of the compound having the following percentage composition so here what is given percentage composition is given and the potency is Percentage composition is given and vapor density is also given. So now you have to find 
empirical formula and molecular formula. So how to find molecular formula, empirical formula? First of all, before finding molecular formula, you must be finding empirical formula. So how to find empirical formula when percentage composition is given? We know that. Make a table. So solution. Make a table with five column. Make a table with five column. One, two, three, four, and five. Here we will be writing element only. Since there is no molecule, otherwise you will be writing slash compound. Here you will be writing percentage composition. Percentage composition. Here you will be writing atomic weight. Atomic weight because there are atoms only, no molecules. Otherwise you will be writing atomic weight slash molecular weight. Then here you will be writing number of atoms or ratio. Ratio of atoms. If there are molecules, then ratio of molecules also you will be writing. So ratio of atoms or atomic ratio in short also you can write. Then this is simplest ratio. Simplest ratio. So I have said you, before doing this, what is your primary duty? First of all, primarily you need to add all these percentages. And if you get 100% then also it's okay. Then only it's okay, otherwise you, there is something which is missing. So whatever element that is generally uh, the elements whose percentage weight is generally not given is carbon, hydrogen and oxygen all these things. All three are given, so must be it is 100%, but then also for your convenience, it is good if you add. So 26.59 then 2.22 and then 71.19 9 and 18 plus 2 20 5 to 7 1 8 and 2 20 10 6 to 8 and 1 9 10 and 10 so it's okay that means 100 percent is there now you write the symbols of the elements here that is c h and o then carbon what is the atomic mass of carbon Oh, so percentage composition given here 26.59 for hydrogen it is 2.22 for oxygen it is 71.19 now atomic weight of carbon is 12 atomic weight of hydrogen is 1 and atomic weight of oxygen is 16 then find the ratio percentage weight by atomic weight so 26.59 divided by 12 how much you will be getting yes 12 to zar 12 to zar 24 2.216 2 you will be getting 2.216 and then you have 2.22 by 1 that is 2.22 2.22 then this can be rounded as 2.22 on 2.22 because this this is greater than 5 so 1 will be added here so it can be rounded as 2.22 this is also 2.22 then 71.19 divided by 16 comes to be yes how much it comes to be 4.45 it comes to be 4.45 4.45 then which is the smallest decimal number here? 2.22. So divide all by 2.22. 2.22 divided by 2.22. You are getting 1. 2.22 divided by 2.22. You are getting 1. And here 4.45 divided by 2.22. Roughly you are getting 2. Roughly you are getting 2. Therefore, empirical formula. Empirical formula of the given compound is write C and O 
then the simplest ratio. So what number of carbon is there? Simplest ratio for carbon is 1, then write 1, hydrogen 1, and oxygen 2. So it is C1H1O2. That is ignore 1 and write CHO2. CHO2. This has become now empirical formula. This has become now empirical formula. Now, what is the formula for finding this one? Molecular weight. Because without finding molecular weight, you will not be getting value of M. So you can write here molecular weight is equal to M into empirical formula weight. Empirical formula weight. Now here N is on empirical formula which we can find using this carbon 12, hydrogen 1, 13 and oxygen 32. 13 and 32, 45. You are getting 45, not a problem. So empirical formula weight you can get that is 45. Molecular weight is unknown and N is also unknown. So two unknowns we cannot find. That means again go back to the question if there is any hint given to you and the hint is vapor density is 45. Now how to, what is the relation between molecular weight and vapor density? Is there any relation between molecular weight and vapor density? Yes, molecular weight is equal to twice vapor density. Molecular weight is equal to 2 into vapor density. There is a relation. So with instead of molecular weight you can write 2 into vapor, vapor density, 2 into Vd, vapor density is equal to N into, yes, N into, what is the variable formula weight? C for 12 plus 1 plus 2 into 16. Let me draw. Then, what we are getting is vapor density, 2 into vapor density and vapor density is given 2 into 45 is equal to n into 45 because if you add all this you will get 45 then n is equal to 2 into 45 by 45 45 45 cancels and you are getting n is 2 n is 2 n you are getting 2 therefore the molecular formula formula of the compound is molecular formula of the compound is now you need to multiply all this subscript by n that is 2 so multiply all this subscript by 2 what you will get c 2 h 2 O 4. This is your answer. So this is the process how you find molecular formula, empirical formula by using the conditions given to you. So by this we, uh, we have come to the end of chapter number 5. Okay, so next chapter will be starting is Chapter number 12 which is very much important and that is organic chemistry. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you.